Hey everyone, I'm Josh and in this video I want to talk about how you can't expect to find love if you hold back. This is something that probably hurts to hear from many people, but it's incredibly true because if you're holding back to any extent, you're basically cutting yourself off from the possibility of finding love. Why? Because it means that you're not going to be doing some of the things that are necessary to allow love to blossom. And those things are being authentic, opening yourself up, being vulnerable. If you can't do those things, if you can't be honest and real with someone else, if you can't hold their hand, put your arm around them, kiss them and that sort of thing because you're still not over your ex or you're still healing, you are not going to be able to find love. So holding back to any extent is basically a bottleneck for finding love. Now this doesn't mean that you'll never find love if you're in a place where you're currently holding yourself back. It just means you need to work on yourself. You need to heal enough to get to a place where you're no longer feeling like you need to hold back to protect yourself. You see, it's kind of ironic how often when we're trying to protect ourselves, we end up only hurting ourselves even further because that desire to protect ourselves comes from fear. And that fear, is going to get in the way of the thing that we want most, which is finding love, right? So many people try to find love while protecting themselves, but you can't really do that. It's just not possible because as soon as you're trying to protect yourself, you're gonna hold back. And that holding back, as I've already established, means you're not going to be able to allow love to blossom. In fact, you may end up sometimes finding love while you're holding back, but you probably won't be able to keep it. You're probably going to push away the other person and they're eventually going to get hurt or feel like you're not fully opening up to them and they're going to want to leave and find someone who isn't going to do that to them. It's just one of those unfortunate things. So if you really want to find love, do not hold back to any extent, which means if you're in a place where you feel like you need to hold back, you should probably not even put yourself out there. Don't even bother with dating yet. Work on healing enough till you're at that place where you feel comfortable not having to protect yourself. Another thing that's really helpful here is working on not caring so much about rejection. I know that can be tough because rejection is one of those things many of us take personally, but you can get to a place where you no longer take it in that way, where you start to realize that rejection has a lot more to do with the other person and not so much you. If you've been following me for a while, you probably have heard me say something along the lines of, you could be the best person out there and you'll still get rejected by people. Because it's true, you could literally be like the objectively best human being on the planet, the best partner for almost anyone who encounters you, and you will still get rejected by people who are broken or needing to heal or have other insecurities that they're being ruled by. It's just going to be the case. There isn't really a way around that. So knowing that you could be the best person on the planet and you would still get rejected by some people, hopefully that helps you realize that you shouldn't take rejection personally. I know it sucks, but really there's no reason for you to take it personally. Like. I've been rejected more times than I can count and I know for a fact that there are women who follow me who would love to find a man like me. It's just hard to find one of those women in person. But there you go, right? Like there will always be people who want you. The struggle is finding them. But you shouldn't let the wrong people make you think that you're unlovable, that you have nothing to offer, because that's just simply not true. They're just the wrong people for you. That's the only way you should view rejection. Think of it as this person isn't right for me, not that I'm not right for anyone just because one person rejected me, or even if 10 or 100 people reject you. Again, they're all the wrong people, because all it takes is finding one person who can see your value, who can see everything that you have to offer, and they'll love you for who you are, and there you go, right? Just like with starting a business. All you need is one person to say yes to funding your idea and now you're in business, you're able to be an entrepreneur. You could get rejected hundreds of times, but you only need that one yes. The same thing goes for dating. So don't let hundreds of the wrong people psych you out into thinking that you have nothing to offer. There's always going to be people out there who are going to love you. And the craziest thing is when you finally find that person, it's going to be like a whirlwind for you. They're going to make you feel so special that you're going to think, what the heck was wrong with me all those years that I spent beating myself up? Like, I was just around the wrong people because this person, they see me for who I am. They understand me. They recognize all the value that I bring to the table. 
But yeah, it just sucks trying to find those people and having to go through all the wrong ones to get there. You just have to be persistent in reminding yourself that you are not the problem. That there sometimes will just be people who can't see the value you have to bring. And that's okay. Just strive not to take rejection personally because it can easily hold you back from love if you then start tackling dating from that place of wanting to protect yourself because you fear rejection too much. Rejection isn't the end of the world, it's redirection. You know, people like to often say that, right? Rejection is redirection. It's true though. It's the universe basically saying, hey, this person isn't right for you. I know you like them, but they're not right for you. So I'm going to kick them out of your life now so to save you pain as opposed to you getting into a relationship with them and then five years down the road, it doesn't work out because yeah, they're not the right person for you. It's the universe saving you your time and energy. You can never get your time back. So hopefully you'll want to be rejected sooner rather than later so you can save your time and start spending it on people who actually will be a better fit for your life. So that's the way you should be thinking. It'll help you tackle dating from that place of not caring so much about having all this armor up, all these walls to protect yourself, which again, will hold you back from finding love. Because I can tell you right now, when you encounter people who actively work on themselves, if they see that you're holding back to any extent, it's probably going to turn them off a bit. Not saying that this will always be the case, but it will be something that they'll notice and they'll think, okay, why is this person doing this? Like, What's going on here? Are they insecure? Are they fresh out of breakup? Are they emotionally unavailable? Like, why are they holding back? It's not normal. It's not something that people do naturally when they're in a good place to date. And you would hope that people who are putting themselves out there are in that place where they're ready to date, but so often they're not. So yeah, basically you don't want to find a good person and scare them off because you're not ready yet. You want to work on getting to that place where you're ready and then put yourself out there. So that way if you do encounter a good person, it'll actually work out with them. I mean, I often, I've been scared of like the thought of, okay, what if I put myself out there, but I'm not quite in a good place and I meet a great woman and it doesn't work out with her because of me. That would be horrible. Like I, I don't do that. I don't put myself out there if I'm in a bad place for that reason. Usually if I meet a good woman and it doesn't work out, it's because she's not in the best place and that sucks. But I would absolutely hate it if it was on me, for me putting myself out there when I wasn't ready because I didn't think things through enough and lack some self-awareness in that regard. You just really want to make sure that you're in a good place before you put yourself out there. It also means you won't end up hurting innocent people, which is a good thing as well because there's too much of that happening in the world nowadays thanks to online dating and it's really unfortunate. So if you can help not contribute to that, that would be amazing. But anyway, the whole gist of this video is that if you want to find love, you really can't do that from a place of trying to protect yourself or hold back. You have to be willing and courageous enough to put yourself out there, be authentic, honest, vulnerable, and real, and be okay with rejection. Be okay with things not working out with the wrong people. Remind yourself of that. Every time it doesn't work out with someone, they're the wrong person for you. Even if that sucks, even if it hurts, that's the way you should be thinking about it. Not that you're wrong or there's something off with you. No, they're the wrong person. You may be okay and they just aren't able to see your value. They have issues they're working on. They're insecure. They're emotionally unavailable. So many reasons, right? This is why you shouldn't take rejection personally. But just strive to be courageous enough to be vulnerable and real when you start dating. It's the best way to find someone who can actually be a life partner for you, which hopefully is your goal if you're dating. I hope people are getting to a place where they don't think short-term dating is this great thing anymore because it's just not that fulfilling, at least to me. I mean, I understand that this is probably a personality thing, but I hope more people are trying to find life partners. I hope we're moving back in that direction because this whole dating culture, it seems like it's messing a lot of people up. So yeah, hopefully culture will shift in this better direction eventually. But yeah, if you want to find a life partner, you need to be willing to get hurt. You need to be willing to be vulnerable, honest, and authentic with other people. But that's pretty much all I have for you guys in this video. I truly hope you enjoyed this one. If you like content like this, be sure to leave a like on it for the algorithm and subscribe for more videos like it. If one-on-one -on -one coaching with me is something that interests you, I can help you out with dating and that sort of thing and can help you with your mindset, feel free to reach out at the link below on my website and we can set that up. But other than that, I truly hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one. Arrivederci!